We uh, appreciate your patience with all our presentations. We thought perhaps a 10-minute uh, rest break. Then we can come back and take questions, and we can meanwhile get the panel up uh, at the table here. Okay? 10 minutes, please. And we're on track. I'm, uh, okay. Um, anticipate success this coming year for reaffirmation. And the key, as, as uh, uh, Dean Phillips pointed out, is having the definitions articulated, identified, consistent with the mission of your school, and then applying it. Now, I, I want to point one more thing out about the process. Um, we sounded very regulatory. <laughs> here's the rules, here's the rules. Yes, there are criteria and there are standards. That uh, does exist. But the process, and as uh, I was pointed out with peers, we do have an obligation and take it serious to be colleagues. That whether you're a mentor or on an accreditation team, initial or reaffirmation, we still have a consultative role. So the point about uh, if you are in the process and you get a mentor, you want that mentor to visit, you want to talk to them because they are your consultant with accreditation or an initial accreditation, the chair of the team, you should have them come visit you before you have the SER submitted so that they have a chance to review and give you consultation as to what's good, what you could do better. Uh, my reaffirmation is coming up in November. Uh, Dean Solomon is chairing my team. I had him in last month reviewed the, uh, the draft and he had some very good suggestions as to how we should tell, articulate our message. What is it we're doing, and particularly in our insurance learning, as to how it would be best perceived, best read by the review team and the uh, um, committees so that we would not find ourselves having to question things. I was just on a team in uh, Münster in Germany uh, two weeks ago, um, and some of the language, uh, when they say staff on our standards, they interpret it to mean faculty. That's not what we normally mean. So there are some definitional things. Their mentor was a European, and he interpreted the European style, so we had to explain as the team members what the difference was. So. Use your uh, team members, use your mentor as consultants. Because even in the report, when we did the visit, uh, I was on the SOGAN team. Not only was it an outstanding school, but we are charged with giving the report what are um, um, great ideas, things that we um, would like to share with others, that this was a, a very good uh, point, but also to identify what are our recommendations that that school could be even better, again, as consultants. So it, it is uh, an audit to, uh, uh, the teams have an audit role, but we all serve consultants. So just to emphasize that. Uh, any last minute, uh, I say last minute, any additional comments from the board here, and then I'll take questions? Okay, I'm the only one to just, okay. Let's take questions then. Or you all just want to go get a beer? <laughs> yes, sir. Um, hello, I'm Archie from the John Cochrane School of Management here at Um I have two questions. One, uh, something to do with uh, qualifications for in determining whether a faculty is uh, academically qualified. Um, I'd like to ask... Uh, um, how does um, publication compare to having a PhD um, compare in, in determining whether a uh, faculty is academically qualified? For example, someone, a uh, faculty may, be, may have a PhD, but this faculty may not be, um, yeah, uh, may not have uh, that much, uh, that many publications. While another faculty may be a very pro prolific, pro prolific writer, but don't have a PhD. 
Okay. My other question uh, has something to do with. Uh, I heard this rumor. Or I heard something like AACSB requires that faculty publish in specific journals. Like, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, I'll just comment about the journals. The publication outlet is consistent with the mission of the school. So the school identifies what are the criteria as to what kind of journals. There is some judgment. There are some unofficial rules uh, pointed out, like the uh, allocation of AQ uh, doesn't say 70, 75%, but there's some rules of thumb. Uh, rule of thumb, two referee journal articles in a five-year period is normally expected for faculty, particularly if they teach graduate courses. But what kind of journals? That varies. Um, Joe, you started to answer the question. 